Hey guys, don't forget to check out my second channel for my dog Casper the Friendly Floof. I'm going to be vlogging him from the time he is a puppy all the way to adulthood to kind of create a visual storybook for myself. But if you want to watch his progress as he grows up as well, make sure to subscribe to the channel and have your notifications on so that you can see when he comes home and watch him grow too. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Blair or the Illuminati. And if it's not your first time here, I'm still Blair or the Illuminati. Right now guys, as I'm recording this video, it is Tuesday. And honestly, I'm just getting ready for my new puppy Casper to come home. PETA, da da da, they're back. And this time they're trying to ruin Animal Crossing. I do not play Animal Crossing. I'm very tempted to buy Animal Crossing because like all my mods on Discord are pretty much playing it and now kind of feeling FOMO. So I wanna like get it to join so I can like play with them. Looks like PETA already tried to take a stab at the game and then tried to backtrack on their Twitter after receiving backlash. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the tweet, look at their really shitty article they linked, and then we're gonna look at how they tried to backtrack out of this when they realized they made a fucky wucky, but did not alter the article. So it's just great. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into the video guys. Alrighty, so yesterday on March 23rd, PETA goes ahead and tweets this with their big brain energy and says, is it hashtag vegan to go fishing? Is is it ethical to catch bugs? Is Tom Nook exploiting you? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't say that seriously. Hashtag Animal Crossing New Horizons. And they link one of their many shitty articles, which you guys know how I feel about them not actually sourcing their information and just kind of throwing their own articles out there and trying to make it look like it's something more than what it is, as is the example here. So I decided, hey, let's take a look at the actual article in question. So let's pop up their website and see what in the heck they're actually doing there. Alrighty, so here is the article linked by PETA from their tweet um, about PETA's vegan guide to Animal Crossing New Horizons, which even the title alone is insane because this is a heckin' video game made by Nintendo. There's nothing crazy going on in here, but okay. So it starts by saying, with everyone self-isolated at home and finding themselves on social media more than ever by now, you've probably heard about Nintendo's new game, Animal Crossing New Horizons. This vegan guide to it will help answer some of the tough ethical questions that it presents, as well as give you an opportunity to help real animals while living your island life. Do you ever just, I don't know, like th there's something about that, like, right? Like I'm not sick, but like, I just got like a little bit of like <clears throat> bullshit stuck in my throat. Who is writing these? Like this is a game made like for children all the way up through adults. Like there's no graphic themes in here. Like you're vibing on an island. Like I see TikToks like this, like this is the worst that you can get in Animal Crossing. My understanding is shit like this. So it goes on with its first ethical dilemma of is fishing in Animal Crossing vegan? This is a biggie. Fishing isn't vegan. You shouldn't fish in real life. <laughs> you shouldn't do so in the game either. Dear God, okay. <laughs> okay, Peta. So it says, sure, unlike in real life, the fish in this game don't feel pain, but fishing is harmful to animals and the planet. This is your island and it's your job to protect it. Tearing the wildlife right out of their ocean home so you can donate them to blathers or museum exhibits is not only cruel, but also bad for the environment. Now, my understanding is in this game, you actually have to fish to get things like shovels and ladders. So it's like, it's more than just fishing like for animals. You are like fishing, fishing because you need to get actual supplies and shit out of the ocean. So that don't make no fucking sense to me. So then they ask, is it okay to catch bugs in Animal Crossing? And uh, I'm sure you're not surprised by this answer, but they say, from butterflies to wharf roaches, your island is a bustling home to various insects and other little animals keep it that way. And they show some images, obviously with these big nasty X's over it to sh tell you, this is bad, very bad, do not do this. His blathers would like to build a museum of fish and insects on your island. Don't let him do it. He's a monster. He's a monster, guys. Look at this man. Look at this monster right here. Look at him. He's so evil. Just as fish don't belong in tanks, insects don't belong inside cramped cases in a museum for other villagers to gawk at. Your island should be a place where wild animals are free to live without being captured and exploited. In the real world, animals suffer in captivity at places like SeaWorld and roadside zoos. They're deprived of everything that's natural and important to them. In Animal Crossing, you have the choice to let the animals on your island live free from harm. So please 
leave them alone. So I will say one, yeah, SeaWorld, absolute trash. I like 400% agree with that. The documentary Blackfish fucked me up big time. But with that being said, this is literally a game where you are like vibing with anthropomorphic beings. So like there's no reality in here. So it's just kind of like this moment where you're like, did you think this through or this is you once again, which is what I think Pete is doing, is they're finding another way to just exploit a popular topic, whatever it might be, to try and push their freaking agenda. Meanwhile, let's just keep like all the other terrible things that they do, like just in the back of our heads. And I'm referring to the kill shelter, just in case we weren't clear about that, their kill shelter raids, mm, fucking horrific. So next up we have, do clams feel pain? And it says on your island, you can dig for clams. Here's why you shouldn't. I just don't even want to read it, honestly. <laughs> I just don't even want to read it. It's just like, this is literally a game that is probably just bringing people happiness right now while everyone is kind of taking care of themselves and staying isolated and everything. And people are just, this is how we're sharing and enjoying ourselves in entertainment. And, and someone, PETA, always has to come along and try and ruin it. And I just, do you have like no shame at all? Like just not even a shred. So then it says, should I leave the hermit crabs in the game alone? And it says, hermit crabs love hanging out on the shore of your island, leave them there. When you capture a hermit crab in the game, the screen says, I caught a hermit crab. I think it wanted to be left alone. In this situation, the game demonstrates surprising awareness that we shouldn't be bothering these animals and taking them from their homes. I think it's just a joke, like a hermit crab. The definition of a hermit, solo, isolated animal beings, kind of like what we all are right now. A hermit would want to be left alone. I, I think it's just a very simple fucking joke that you couldn't take. So then of course we have the very important question. What would a vegan eat on desert island, right? Very important. So now the whole world knows the answer to the eternal question of what a vegan would eat on a desert island. Fruit. In the game, it makes you strong. When you eat enough fruit, you actually become strong enough to shatter rocks and receive extra bells and resources from them. So they're pretty much trying to say, mm, just eat fruit. They wanna shit on this game and then turn around and be like, but it says eat fruit, you'll be nice and strong. You need a balanced diet of a little bit of everything to be healthy. I myself eat quite a bit of vegan and vegetarian food. It's fucking delicious and I'll still get my protein in and all of that shit and like, that's cool. I'm not vegan though, but like whatever, but you don't just eat fruit. Like I, you turn into that fucking freely the banana bitch or whatever. And and I remember, isn't it like her diet? There was so much controversy around it because so many people got fat because you're not supposed to eat that much fruit. So then it asks, what other vegan food can you eat in this game? Islands have different starting fruits, including the following, apples, cherries, coconuts, oranges, peaches, and pears. So it says visit friends or mystery islands to collect every type of fruit for a colorful menu of vegan snacks. So now as you guys see down here, you see the question, should I build a dog house? And oh boy, we're about to get into it. So it says, if you get instructions to build a dog house, don't. Life at the end of a heavy short chain is all too real an issue for many dogs in the US. And there's obviously the screenshot of being able to build a dog house. It says right now, countless dogs are constrained outdoors in all weather conditions with chains, just like the one pictured here languishing alone and struggling to survive long days and nights without proper shelter from the elements. So what they're talking about is people who abuse their dogs. Although it is a small minority, it is a minority enough and we don't like that shit. I'm pretty sure there's no one in my audience, no one watching this video who'd be like, yeah, let's make dogs suffer. Like that's not a sentence that comes out of anyone's mouth like willingly, like that's just not a thing. A side note though for PETA is they hate the idea of pets, period. Which means they would really, really hate my puppy Casper that's coming home today because, oh my God, it's a puppy. They don't believe in the concept of humans having pets. They believe that's actually animal cruelty. My puppy, as you guys know, is going to be one, my companion, that's why I got him because being a YouTuber is actually like a really isolating, lonely lifestyle. So I kind of wanted like someone that I can go on walks with and stuff like that. That's kind of... That's the main reason. The second reason is because I want to train him really well so that he can be a certified therapy dog and go to the cancer wards at hospitals. And you can't really do that if you don't have a dog, number one. But PETA would like, like shame me for this. They'd be like, how dare you have a dog for a pet and how dare you make him, you know, air quotes here, work even though it's a volunteer thing, whatever. The dog I'm getting, the breed, is a working breed. They enjoy working and doing tasks and stuff like that. So it's just like, will you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> no? But anyway, yeah. So they had to impose this methodology of thinking that they like into this game, which is just 
fucking bananas. We've got some ha ha he he funnies here. Uh, it says, is Tom Nook exploiting you? Tom Nook is a tanuki or a raccoon dog who are often killed for their fur. Others like him in the real world are beaten, anally electrocuted, gassed, or skinned alive. Cut him some slack. We, we know if you guys saw my recent video, right? That PETA uh, made a video game called Mario Kills Tanuki, right? And it's about a skinned alive Tanuki that is essentially chasing Mario and it's supposed to look like a Super Mario Bros game. That's literally not the case here in this game. Like it's one of those things where you are just trying so hard to like imprint your values and your your twisted morals onto a game where, where that's not even the point of the game in, in any way. It's the same thing with Mario. There were, there's nothing about that ever. I don't know why they like to pick on Nintendo games, but whatever. So of course guys, a call to action. How can you spread animal rights through <laughs> Animal Crossing? I'm sorry, I, oh, it hurts. The stupid hurts. So it says, give your island an animal friendly name like Veganville. I'm, I'm a level with you. If I saw an island called Veganville, I probably wouldn't go to it. And that's just because I would be way too afraid of the pretentious stuck up motherfucker who's running that island. Like, I'm just gonna level with you, I'm sorry. It also says to customize your passport with a phrase like end speciesism or adopt don't shop or go vegan. It also says to make some custom signs, very important. And it also says to post a bulletin to your visitors to leave wildlife alone. So very important bulletin guys. March 23rd, 2020, St. Jupero has a zero tolerance policy on speciesism, no fishing, no catching bugs, respect all animals while visiting. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Joel. So then it says, can you enjoy your island in an animal friendly way? So then it asks, how can you enjoy your island in an animal friendly way? And it says, instead of fishing or catching insects, engage in animal friendly activities when your friends come and visit your island, like having a bonfire, playing music together under the stars, or discovering a secret beach together. Sit back and enjoy island life while knowing that you're causing no real or virtual harm to animals. Listen, I ate a bag of hot fries before starting this video video and I need to eat another bag of hot fries now so that I can like cleanse my palate of what I just had to read. So then here it says, is PETA against Animal Crossing New Horizons? And it says PETA hopes the game will encourage people to feel closer to the animals we share our planet with and inspire them to work to end speciesism. The misguided belief that humans are superior to all other animal species and that it's okay for us to exploit some species in horrible ways for our own trivial purposes. Animal Crossing New Horizon is fantastical. Is that a word? Fantastical, okay. In many ways, but when you look a little closer, you realize that there are even more ways in which it's realistic. While other animals don't speak the same language we do, they really do have their own means of communication and individual personalities. By populating your island with animals such as sheep, deer, and rabbits who have strong personalities, Nintendo is reinforcing the important fact that animals are individuals. So yeah, that's that's an article. Um, so obviously you don't write this kind of article, just, just shitting on a brand new game and essentially being like how to play this game in a vegan way or whatever, if you're a fan of the game. Like that just seemed like a throwaway line. And obviously when they posted this tweet, linking this, this here little shitty article, uh, a lot of people got real upset about it. Um, and they got upset about it so much that uh, PETA ended up just seven hours ago, had to post a tweet underneath that. And usually they either like flurry tweet at once or they tweet their one thing once and they don't ever go back to it. So the fact that they went back to it tells me that they got a lot of angry people from this. So let's go ahead and take a look at their, uh, <laughs> their backtracking on Twitter. So when PETA finally got the oopsie oh no's that people were like, um, excuse me, what the fuck? Why would you post something like this? This is like literally so ridiculous because we're all inside right now. We got nothing better to do than to enjoy video games and critique dumbasses posting shit on the internet. PETA obviously followed up and they said the following, hashtag Animal Crossing New Horizons can be a fun reminder to be kind to the animals we share our world with. Sheep, pigs, mice, and others on our islands have big personalities, just like animals in real life. Thanks at Nintendo America for reinforcing animals are individuals, not objects. And to me, that kind of seems like they're definitely backtracking because they're spending this entire thing talking about how terrible this game is in this article and how it's not vegan friendly and how you're still abusing animals virtually. And they literally in their first tweet are asking if it's ethical to go fishing or to catch bugs. And if Tom Nook, I, <laughs> I just, 
<laughs> if he's exploiting you, I just, I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's like the, they must be so good at stretching because they are reaching at levels that I have not seen in a hot minute. It is, it's kind of impressive, honestly. But yeah, they obviously backtracked and it didn't work well for them because they had to do this kind of backtracking. But of course, they're never gonna say they're wrong. They're probably twisted into some way that they were still right. They'll probably later edit this article. It's gonna happen. That's how PETA works. They don't ever apologize for shit unless they're forced to. But yeah. So with that being said, guys, that's where we're ending today's video. Let me know your thoughts on this article. Um, I don't see anything wrong with Animal Crossing. I don't, I, I I really feel like they're just reaching here to try and drum up some controversy. So I just wanna come in here with my hammer and just pew, just kinda of slap them down and be like, no, PETA, you sit in your fucking hole and behave. We're trying to have a good time out here when everything's already fucking miserable. So anyway, yeah, that's where the video is ending. Leave me your comments in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the second channel to go meet Casper. He's coming home soon. So no videos on the channel yet, but it's happening shortly. If you guys want more content from me, in my description box will be all my social media, as well as my collaboration channel with Sad Mom. So make sure to check that out. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.